Hey everybody, so I'm going to talk real briefly about making test jigs. Um, it's come up, um, been asked about it. Um, so basically, like on this JC Penny and this O2A, I want to get at all the divider pins, but I don't want to cut the board. And in order to get at two of them, I need to cut the board. I didn't want to cut the board. Um, and then I had the existing channel selector that I had to do something with, mainly remove it because it was just... I could, you know, yeah, I could try to solder wires to the pins, you know, it, it's easier to just pull it out. If it's going to be in my way, pull it out. Um, so I don't want to have some requirements. I don't want to cut the board and I, the channel selector was going to be an impediment um, because it was not easily um, something that I could just simply separate. Um, if it was like they've got these um, resistor arrays, if there was like a resistor array or something I could just pull out to isolate it, I would have just pulled the resistor array out. But in this case, um, you know, I, I started probing around with it. You desolder these pins, and then they touch a little bit, and it's easier to just make the thing gone. Um, so then I have to make an adapter, uh, sort of like I did with the 148. Now, I'm not adapting another PLL in here. I'm using the existing PLL, so it's still going to be an O2A, but I needed the nine divider pins, um, and two of them I couldn't isolate. So, <clears throat> you know, I just pin headers like this, extended ones, you know, long ones to extend the pins, solder a couple of those the correct spacing onto a piece of board um, and you know obviously you know get the board a little bit smaller than this is this is too big I cut this in half put those two guys on there put a socket on there wire it across except leaving your divider pins uh, open put a pin header uh, you know on there so that you can plug a, a cable you know a ribbon or something like that into it um, and then the other end would go to your breadboard and that's essentially all you need um, now I've got a lot of these cables that I've made and they're made for this particular function uh, You can see that's got pins on it so that I can just plug this, you know, it could be even to a, you know Board uh, and, so and soldered in but I wouldn't solder on this you could but I wouldn't do it I just put a socket on it or a breadboard where you just plug it in now in my case It's just gonna go into a breadboard um, And then I'm gonna you know just basically logic level stuff five and you know uh, five volts uh, zero volts kind of thing um, nothing really too fancy uh, there's no data going across it otherwise we wouldn't use such long cables um, so there's no data bus um, so that's basically it so that's how um, uh, that's a method that you could use to make jigs to muck around with PLLs if you want um, so um, anyways that's all for now thanks for watching guys till next time